Hello guys, it's D to the B here, talking about Andor and why I don't care. Because, of course it had to get worse. So, let me explain the whole situation. So, let's start from the very beginning. So, Mandalorian was a big success, especially for its second season. Um, Lucasfilm announced a bunch of spinoffs, which some of them I didn't even care for. And one of them, conveniently, was about... Castian Andor. Now, of course, if you don't know who Castian Andor is, he is one of the main characters of the spin off movie Rogue One, which, in my opinion, is the only good Disney Star Wars movie. The only good one. And just hearing the fact that we're going to get a spin off of a character we already knew in Rogue One. Just turned it off for me because they were trying to turn Star Wars into Marvel, which, of course, I am not for. I even criticized The Mandalorian being that way, too, with, um, hey, let's laugh at um, certain things that develop the lore. Let's do that. That's fun. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. I like The Mandalorian. I even had some love for the second season, even though there were some issues with that season. But granted, there were also issues with season one. But continuing on, then some situations were happening with um, Gina Carano. I know some people in my um, community are probably like, shut up. And I have to say, no. Because it exposes how bad Disney is as real people. And I refuse to stay silent about it. So that's why I talk about it so much. So yeah, that stuff happened, which I have tons of videos on. And people started turning on Disney, rightfully so. Because they deserve it. Some series did well. Like, season one of Bad Batch, for the most part, was received positively. I even liked it, even though having some issues with it. Visions wasn't too bad, and this is coming from someone who doesn't really watch anime. It was actually kind of good. Of course, there are some episodes that are questionable, but that's pretty much typical for TV. And then, um, Book of Boba Fett happened... A lot of people turned on that, including myself. To be honest, I should have stopped with Bad Batch as I was um, planning to originally. Then, then Kenobi happened. And Star Wars was beginning to dig its grave all over again. And now, Disney is digging their grave even more. Because, of course... They can't shut their mouths. Because, of course, Disney got political again. <sighs> and as I said in my Lightyear review, and my um, Grace Randolph goes after Gina Carano video, I hate when films and series get political. Because I feel like... There should be something that the two sides can talk about. I think movies is that perfect one. Back when I was younger, this was still kind of a thing. Where you could discuss a movie and it's um, issues or some positives about the movie. You can basically chat without um, ripping each other apart because it supports political views you don't agree with. And also the fact that people say that um, the new Star Wars is good because they have their political views in the, um, the series or the movie is so unsettling because who cares if your politics are in it? Like, if any kind of politics were in it, normal people don't care. They would rather see a movie that doesn't get into... Um, politics of the left and the right. Because movies are supposed to be an escape. Because if we didn't have movies, 
Well, look where we are. Look at all the stuff that's going on right now. Like, people just want an escape from the real world. Because the real world is messed up. And they just want some sort of escape. Just a break from reality. Just to calm down. And just get some joy out of their lives. But no. Modern movies have to be like, um, we gotta force these politics into our movies, which should not be a thing. Because if you want a big success for a movie or a series, you need to not have politics so you can have a big audience. Of course, writing is also important because politics or not, if you have a terrible um, script or story... Um, it's going to be the most hated thing on the planet. Like, that's one of the reasons that Star Wars as a franchise was so popular. Because it was new, it didn't get into any political issues. Even if the director believed in some politics, George Lucas was smart enough to um, not get his own politics involved. And just create a story that everyone can have fun with. Whatever side you're on. But no, since Lucasfilm is now run by a bunch of idiots that hate their fans. And there is physical evidence to the claim. Like, there's so much evidence that I'm just going to pull up right here and you can read it. this influential fan base have decided to attack Moses Ingram online and send her the most horrendous racist DMs and I heard some of them this morning and it just broke my heart Moses is a brilliant actor she's a brilliant woman and she's absolutely amazing in this series she brings so much to the series she brings so much to the franchise and it just sickened me to my stomach to hear that this had been happening I just want to say as the leading actor in the series as the executive producer in the series that we stand with Moses we love Moses and if you're sending her bullying messages, you're no Star Wars fan in my mind. There's no place for racism in this world. And uh, I totally stand with Moses. There is so much of it. And just talking about Andor, the series without getting political, from what the trailers have shown, it doesn't look that good. I'm going to be honest, it doesn't look good. I hate to shatter um, the expectations of people like Star Wars Explain. Because a lot of people don't care about Andor. And Andor looks so boring. Like, it doesn't look interesting. Like, literally, the first trailer that came out was literally this. Interesting. I really can't wait. It's in that new planet that we saw for like a couple seconds. It feels so much like Star Wars. And this is so much better than the prequels and Jar Jar and um, Yoda light having a lightsaber and Jar Jar. <sighs> Just... I did not care for this series. And this is coming from someone who actually did like Rogue One. Because Rogue One, as I said, is the only good Disney Star Wars movie. Like, unlike the abomination known as the Star Wars sequel trilogy, 
at least um, Rogue One was trying to expand on Star Wars and it tried to feel like it was a part of Star Wars. Like, no one who liked Rogue One really wanted a um, Rogue One spinoff unless they were a Disney shill like Star Wars Explain, and just defend it to the best ability that they can. Yes, I know that there are some people who aren't Disney shills who did want to kind of see, like Scoundrels Cantina, for example, a very good channel to support if you want to get into, like, the EU. They actually kind of wanted to see the series. They were saying how um, we're um, underestimating Andor, which... Now hearing this news, they're probably very much against it, which I couldn't blame them. I hate this series more than I already did, and the series hasn't even came out yet. Like, who really cares about a prequel of a prequel? Who really cares? Like, you can have spinoffs of certain characters in um, a franchise, but... Out of thousands of good characters in Star Wars, why did you pick Castian Andor out of all people? Like, nobody cared about Castian Andor. He's like, people were just like, he's a character. Like, even if you like Castian Andor, which I don't think I had a problem with him, like, they don't want a series about him. Because people who like Rogue One... Like Rogue One, just as its own separate thing. No spinoffs. Like, maybe you can have Cassian Andor, like, a cameo if you want to. Like, maybe there's this, um, new show called, um, Rebels Rise or something like that. And Cassian Andor makes an appearance. That would be okay. Like, I think people would actually watch that. But since it's a show about Cassian Andor, nobody cares. Even... People who did like Cassian Andor, no one cares. Basically, the Cassian Andor show was a series that didn't need to happen. They could have scrubbed that show off and make a different show that people actually care about. But no, Disney wants to push in um, as much as they can. I'm more into the droid story than I am Cassian Andor. And yes, this is an actual Star Wars project that will be worked on. And I originally didn't have a problem with a droid spinoff. Because, um, according to what I heard, George Lucas did want a droid spinoff movie. Which, I, as I said, I was for. But then I realized, oh, it's Disney. They would ruin... I'm also more invested in um, a series about the Four Sister from Kenobi. Even though I hated Kenobi. Like... There are so many other characters that you could make a spinoff to. Maybe even someone new. Maybe someone who isn't um, nostalgia bait like Kenobi or Boba Fett or any of the OG characters. Maybe you can make someone new, do some good writing, and maybe they'll like that new character. That's what happened with The Mandalorian. Yes, I know, not everyone's a Mandalorian fan, and that's fine. But a big portion of people didn't hate the Mandalorian. And the Mandalorian is really popular. Or it was before Gina got fired. Yes, I will still not shut up. Like, just think of something else that isn't a Andor show. Oh wait, no, they can't. Because the people that are in Lucasfilm, A, don't care about the brand, B, is an idiot, or three, has no creativity because of course they hire people randomly from the streets which I'm of course joking about even though might as well be like the creativity is so low for them like if you compare their creativity to my creativity my creativity is really high like if we had to had a count for how creative um, a certain person was, I would have to say I'm a 70. And they're like a 2. 
Like, their creativity is not very good. Like, they couldn't write anything good to save their lives. And it still shocks me how none of these people were fired because of how bad they are. Granted, I think a lot of people need to be fired from Disney because they are either A, a messed up person, or B, they are very lacking in creativity. Like, I don't care about Andor. I don't care about the future spinoffs, even ones that I was interested at first. Just... After Kenobi, I'm done. I'm done with Star Wars. If I did really want to try to end it on a positive again, I would probably check out Bad Batch Season 2, which I'm still debating on if I want to, because Kenobi and Book of Boba Fett did a lot of damage to my um, self-esteem about new Star Wars stuff. It did a lot of damage. And part of me is like, I don't care anymore. I don't care what's new about Star Wars. I honestly just want to move on with my life. Maybe just watch the old Star Wars and some Disney stuff that I actually kind of enjoyed. That's basically where I am right now. Where I just want to stop. Like, not even end it on a positive note. I just want to stop now. Because Disney Star Wars... Is terrible and it's done so much damage to the fan base. I'm not the only one who wants to stop. Like, there are so many people who want to stop supporting modern Disney. They just want to stop. They don't care about Star Wars anymore. They just want to move on with their lives and maybe find another franchise that could be um, better at Star Wars at this point. Personally, I recommend Transformers for now or the terminal list that's a really good one because now being a star wars fan feels like an embarrassment like i'll still be a star wars fan with the old star wars and some new star wars but it's just an embarrassment now star wars now is the laughing stock of the filming industry now Because of how much damage Disney has done. And of course there are going to be some people praising Disney Star Wars. Even if they mess up everything they know and love. They're going to defend them. They keep pushing arguments like, oh George Lucas sold the rights. So he has no right to um, what Star Wars anymore. It's so stupid. And before you get the wrong message that I am... Um, attacking every single prequel hater. I'm not. I'm only talking about the ones that were pushing stupid arguments and basically bullied George Lucas. The prequel haters who just didn't like the prequels but um, still respected George Lucas, they're fine. I have no problem with them. But the prequel haters that bullied George Lucas off of his own brand, his own IP... Because of you, we're stuck in this mess. And we're never going to get out of it because of your stupidity. But anyway, that's all. How do you feel about Andor? Do you care? Do you not care like me? Tell me in the comments. And have a nice day, everyone. It's just not worth talking about the Andor trailers. They're pretty much nothing. They're pretty much just like rebel against the Empire, the rise of the rebellion and that stuff even though ha- that has been done before all right bye everyone